BBC Radio Northampton. For more than 20 years after the BBC's World Service transmitting station closed down, Daventry could be getting its very own radio service. A local man is looking for volunteers to help him set up a community radio channel for the west of Northamptonshire. He says it would help bring people together and provide a vital service for the more isolated members of society. BBC Radio Northampton's Martin Heath has been to meet the man who wants to bring radio back to Daventry. But now, in the last seconds of Daventry shortwave station's existence, we'd like to thank all the BBC engineers and those of the Marconi Company who've contributed to 67 years of broadcasting history. Noah Price was just one year old when Daventry's world-famous radio transmitting station broadcast its last signal. Now he's decided he needs a challenge and he wants to be the man who gets the town back on the radio dial. I was going through a, a phase where I was feeling very disillusioned with my position in life and I was becoming all the more introverted and self-absorbed and so I needed something that would make me look away from myself put my life into perspective, make myself useful to others and rekindle my faith in the basic goodness of humanity and also uh, enlighten myself on what was going on around not only where I am but around the world as well. He says he had the idea when he read a book about Daventry's role in broadcasting and it changed the image he had of where he lived. Another factor I'd say was this book I came across by Norman Tomlin was all about the original radio station that was in Daventry. Before I read this book, my opinion on Daventry wasn't the highest. I would have said that it was a cultural desert with nothing more to its name than a questionable reputation. So I scoffed at this book at first. I thought, well, nothing significant has ever come out of Daventry. But as soon as I started reading it, uh, I was totally bowled over by it. My colleagues and I... The governors of the BBC send our warm greeting to listeners everywhere. For a long time, we have been thinking of the possibility of an Empire broadcast service. When the uh, transmitting station was first launched back in 1925, Stanley Baldwin, the Prime Minister, said that this is a milestone on the road to the social betterment of the people. Before I read this book, I sort of had the vague idea, oh, could I start a radio station? And when I came across that quote, I thought, wow, that is, that is the slogan. That is a perfect encapsulation of the main priority of what this station should be doing. And the radio station isn't just an idea. Noah has written to the local paper and village newsletters to ask for support. He's found out about the cost of transmitting and getting a licence, and he's even looked into possible sites for the studios. The biggest obstacle, of course, is money. But he's had a few thoughts about that, too. There can be one-off donations, there can be grants, there can be sponsorships from local businesses and money from on-air advertising from local businesses as well. There can be fundraising sales. We could have a recording studio for local bands and artists. Uh, we could hire some of the rooms out. We could think about merchandise once it's up and running and also listening products for the hard of hearing. Daventry won't be the first town in the county to have its own radio station and Noah himself has volunteered on the Inspiration FM station in Northampton. But Daventry might be the smallest community in the county to consider setting one up. Noah knows he won't be able to do it on his own. I'm the first to admit that I feel a sense of uneasiness from saying I'm going to do this, but the truth is it is only me at the moment, and that's how it feels, and I really need, I need to stress this, I need a group of people to come together to help this project because I don't have the capacity, I don't think anybody would really, the capacity to do this on my own, uh, certainly because I lack business knowledge and technical knowledge. I need all those sorts of people on board with the project. It's a big challenge, but it's not impossible. Even the BBC was once just an idea. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, still is in some people's mind. <laughs> Martin Heath reporting. Noah, if you want to help him, his email address is noahprice91, so that's Noah, N-O-A-H, N-O-A-H, Price, P-R-I-C-E, 91, at googlemail.com. Noahprice91 at googlemail.com. If you think you can help him and you'd like to see him achieve his ambition. On FM.